have number 12, Shelby Griffiths, number 32, Ava Woods, number 22, Madison Brown, number 3, Alandra Johnson, number 20, Mackenzie Brown, and the Lady Sanders are coached by Matt Myers. Yep, and this should be a good matchup here tonight, Titan. It was a very closely contested game last time these two teams met, with the Lady Senators barely edging out the victory. One thing to note, the Lady Lancers have struggled since the turn of the calendar. They have not won a single game this calendar year. Their last win coming on December 21st against Indy, Indy Lutheran. Yeah, and that can be tough for a team heading into sectionals a bit cold, but... No, t no time to start like the present, eh, Titan? Yep. So we'll see how both teams can come out and start this game. Is that this should be a pretty good game? As last time, very close game. Sent Lady Sanders coming out by four points. So those are the lineups for the Lady Senators now with the now, Lady Lancers starting lineups. So those are the starting lineups for both teams. As, um, the, however, the Lady Senators being at home will not be the home team technically in this game. And we'll get ready to tip off here. Ava Woods on the Senator side of the tip off. And the Lady Lancers will have Gracie Crawhorn lining up for them. And the ball is tipped and we are underway here with the Lady Lancers controlling the tip off as uh, Funkhauser will take the ball across the court. Funkhauser dribbles right side, gives it off to Strievel. Strievel tries to attack, now gets it back outside. Hancock with it. Hancock goes one way, goes back the other. And now we'll just hand it off here for Funkhauser up top. So far the um, Lady Lancers just going around the top of the key trying to attack and get inside. Now ball being swung around, looking inside, gives it off to Funkhauser on the left side, back off for Strievel up top. Strievel attacks with the left hand, gets all the way. The block shot is good, rattles around the rim and falls in for the first points of the game. Now Strievel with two points as Lady Sanders bring the ball up the floor as Lady Lancers applying a little bit of pressure as Lady Sanders break it. Shelby gives it off to McKenzie Brown for the three. And Brown hits a three-pointer for the first points for the Lady Senators. That's how you like to get things started if you're the Lady Senators. Put a little pressure on this Lady Lancers team to go score and get some big shots. So now Funkhauser with the ball up by the logo. Lady Lancers go into a 1-3-1 uh, look. So now ball up at the top of the key. Strievel gives it off to Funkhauser. Funkhauser tries to attack, kicks it back out. 
Thought about the three-pointer right there. Crawhorn gives it off now in the corner for the three. It's no good. Rebounded by Alandra Johnson as she gives it off to Griffiths who will now take it the other way. Lady Senators with the one-point lead early on. Griffiths with the ball. Gives it off to uh, Madison Brown. Now back to Griffiths. G kicks it across for Johnson. Johnson setting up the offense. Back to Griffiths. Back over for Brown. Brown looking inside. Gets double teamed. Tries to get out of it. Kicks it back up for Johnson up top. Johnson goes back to Brown. Brown puts up the three-pointer. It is good as the Brown Twins to start this game off with a three each. Yeah, and that's that's a pretty tough combo to beat if you're getting both Twins hitting shots like that. But he Senators apply pressure as Shelby Griffiths knocks the ball out of bounds. We'll stay with the Lady Lancers. Definitely like what I'm seeing here from this Lady Senators team. Being aggressive, taking big shots, and getting after it on defense. So now Strevel with the ball up top. Strevel guarded by Madison Brown. Strevel goes to the right side. He's going to give it off to Funkhauser. Funkhauser now setting up the offense. Looking around, waiting for somebody to do something. Now gives it off for Hancock. Hancock dribbles left side, puts up the shot with two defenders on her. Offensive rebound. Shot is no good. And it is controlled again by the Lady Lancers. Out of bounds off of the Lady Senators. We'll stay with the Lady Lancers underneath the basket. So now it looks like Crawhorn will take the ball out of bounds. Lady Lancers get into a box set. Going to kick it up top for Strevel. Strevel gives it off to Funkhauser. Strevel gets it back up top, guarded by Johnson for the Lady Senators. Strevel takes it left side, gives it off to Funkhauser. And now Funkhauser will bring it back out, gives it off to Crawhorn. Crawhorn one dribble, gives it off. Now the ball in the corner, and a travel will be called on Hancock as she tried to drive baseline right there. To start here for Edinburgh as they give up a couple big threes and then there with the turnover. So now it looks like uh, we have Strevel trying to apply some pressure onto the Lady Senator guards. Brown now with it, gives it back to Griffiths. Griffiths gives it off for Johnson up top. Now swings it over into the corner. Brown with it, back for Griffiths. Griffiths looking inside for Woods. Woods is kind of uh, running around the paint trying to catch the ball in there and a travel is called as Griffiths tried to attack two defenders. Some West Washington fans voicing their displeasure a tad. Lady Senators now with some pressure as Funkhauser calling some of her teammates to come up and help her as now this time she just dribbles right through the pressure, gets all the way to three-point line, gives it off as uh, Strevel gets all the way inside, puts up the layup, no good. Offensive rebound shot is up and good as 20 Burton gets her first two of the game. Now Griffiths gives it off to Johnson, gets it back, kicks it ahead for Brown. This is McKenzie Brown with it, gets double team, tip pass. Lady Senators control it. Now back over for Brown, and it's going to just be knocked away there as now the Lady Lancers will take it the other way. Crawhorn gives it off for Funkhauser. Funkhauser on the right wing. Crawhorn now with it. He's going to give it off to Hancock. Hancock at the top of the key gives it off. Shot is up inside the lane. It is no good. Rebounded by Griffiths for the Lady Senators, and now she pushes it the other way quickly. And now we'll hold up at the half-court line and set up some kind of offense. Now Griffiths with the ball up near half-court. Dribbles it to the left side. Now a double dribble is called on Griffiths as she picks up two turnovers here early. Yeah, and that's definitely something the Lay Senators will want to look out for. A lot of their games this year have been lost via turnovers, so you definitely want to make sure you keep the ball in your possession. So now Funkhauser will cross half court with the ball, guarded by Madison Brown for the Lady Senators. Funkhauser setting up the offense. Lady Lancers go five out offense. Going to hand it off here for Strevel. Strevel centers the ball, gives it off as now Hancock tries to dribble inside, gives it off to Funkhauser. Looks like the Lady Lancers are kind of just going with a three-man weave up top, just trying to um, come off screens. And now Griffiths takes it away and she'll push the ball up quickly. Stops at the block, puts up the shot, and one for the Lady Senators. And Griffiths putting on a one-woman show right there, getting the steal and the and one. And now a substitution for Edinburgh. That will be 24, Chloe Britton. So now Griffiths will have one shot at the line. Lady Senators up by four and a chance to be five. Free throw is up and no good. In and out. Battle for the rebound is 
Uh, Brown comes down with it, gets it back to Griffiths, and the Lady Senators are going to steal another possession right here. So now Johnson with the ball, gives it back to Griffiths. Griffiths getting the call from Coach Myers. Griffiths now gives it off for Johnson. Johnson kicks it back to Griffiths. Now into the wing. Brown with it. Brown kicks it to her sister in the high post. Now swung back around for Johnson. Back up top for Griffiths. Now Madison Brown with it. Ball's kicked across. Johnson with a pass fake. Cross court pass. Three point try by Brown it is no good. It is short. Battle for the rebound and it will be saved, but they will say out of bounds off of number 20, Mackenzie Brown. So now the Lady Lancers ball. They trail eight to four. As now Funkhauser will get it. Lady Senators change up their pressure a little bit here. As now Crawhorn brings it up, gives it off to Funkhauser. Onto the wing for Hancock. Hancock back to Funkhauser. Funkhauser is back over and now just passing between the two as now the Lady Lancers set something up. Funkhauser tries to get it to Crawhorn. It's taken away by Brown. Mackenzie Brown kicks it ahead for Johnson. Johnson's layup is good. As Johnson picks up her first two of the game. And now Crawhorn will bring it up for the Lancers. He's going to bounce it off to Funkhauser up top. Funkhauser gives it off. Hancock gives it back. Almost another steal there by the Lady Senators. Carlin throws it up inside. Shot is no good. Rebounded by Johnson. Now she's going to push it the other way quickly. Two on one fast break, but they're going to slow it down. And now give it off to Griffiths up top. Coach Myers calling out another play for his team to run. So now Johnson with the ball on the right side. Cross court pass for Brown. Kick back out. Griffiths with it. Back to Johnson. A minute 30 to go in this first quarter. Lady Senators up 10 to 4 over the Edinburgh Lady Lancers. Griffiths goes off for Johnson on the right wing. So far a pretty slow offense here for the Lady Senators. They have um, Ava Woods trying to get open in the post area, trying to get her the ball as they do right here. Woods pump fake, kicks it out for Brown for the mid-range jumper. It's no good. Rebounded by the Lady Lancers as now they push it the other way. Good defense there by Brown for the Lady Senators. Now into the corner, Hancock puts up a three. It's no good. Rebounded by the Lady Senators. Griffiths with it. Now Griffiths guard heavily by Hancock. Gives it off to Johnson. Johnson barely gets that ball as Funkhauser came running in, tried to get the steal. And that's something we saw a lot from Funkhauser in their last matchup was her flying all over the court playing aggressive defense. Something Edinburgh needs right now if they want to get back into this game. So now Brown throws it inside for Woods. Woods one dribble, turns, puts up the shot. It's no good. Kind of a wild shot there. Battle for the rebound as will be a timeout called by the Lady Lancers will just be a 30 second timeout. We have 31 seconds to go in this first quarter. Lady Senators up 10 to four. Yeah, and that was kind of an interesting shot we saw by Ava Woods there on that last Lady Senators possession. Uh, definitely probably not one of those high quality shots you want to be taking, but got a six point lead, so. Woods, probably one of the Lady Senators best um, best players off on the block and right there she just kind of got double teamed and tried to force up the shot and couldn't get could not get it to go yeah and we'll see usually where woods does most of her offensive damage is in the second half they wear teams down and then ava comes in and puts the finishing touch on them it's now lady centers applying pressure they have brown guarding the inbounds pass griffiths and johnson both up Looks like a 1-2-2 two, two press. Cross-court pass over for Strevel. Strevel dribbling the ball. Now gets double teamed. Tries to split it. Ball on the ground and it will be a jump ball. As looks like 22 Madison Brown is able to jump on it. So now will be the Lady Senators ball. Another turnover by the Lady Lancers. Brown taking it out. Gives it off to Griffiths as uh, we saw Strevel right there try to come up and get a quick steal and layup. Now 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Brown gives it off. Now Griffiths with it on the left wing. Griffiths gets the ball back to the middle. Gives it off to Johnson. Six seconds now to go. There's a three-pointer by Madison Brown. It's no good. Uh, as Woods tries to get the rebound, she does get the shot up and a foul. And we'll go to the line for two shots with 1.4 seconds to go in the quarter. That was a good possession there by Ava Woods. Fighting for the offensive rebound and then drawing the foul on the putback attempt. 
So now Woods a chance to get her first points of the game. Free throw is up and good, and all of the Lady Senator starters have scored in this first in this first quarter. Woods second shot is on the way, and it is also good. So now Lady Lancers will try to do something here with 1.4 seconds. Funkhauser with it, throws up the full court shot. It is no good, and the Lady Senators will start the first or will start the second quarter with a 12 to 4 lead. This is uh, West Washington Senator live stream, and we are going to head to a quick commercial break. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. And we're back here to start the second quarter. The Lay Senators leading here 12 to four over the Edinburgh Lancers. And what'd you see out of those Lay Senators to start this sectional matchup here, Titan? Well, very balanced scoring offensively as Griffiths has two, Woods has two, the Brown Twins have three each, and Johnson has two. So Lady Senators are getting everybody involved offensively, and so far it's worked with their 12 to four lead. For the Lancers, they've only got four points so far, so they're definitely, need to get, they're definitely going to need to pick up the intensity on offense and try to get some better shots. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see. Last time out, the Lay Lancers threw up a few more threes than in this matchup where they haven't been attempting as many. Right there, Strievel drove to the basket and was fouled. We'll now head to the line for two shots. They call the foul on 20. That is Mackenzie Brown. So Strievel at the line, first shot is up and it is good. Strievel now with three points on the game. So now Strievel with one more shot at the line. This one is no good. Rebounded by 20, Mackenzie Brown. She gives it off to Griffiths. Now Griffiths will push it the other way quickly. He's gonna hand it off for Johnson. Johnson now looking to get a screen, but is now gonna go back to Griffiths on the left side. Griffiths guard heavily, gives it off to Johnson. Johnson swings it across. Brown with the ball up top, gives it back to Johnson. Now Griffiths with it. Griffiths looking inside, throws it inside. It's gonna be on the floor and Bunkhauser with it and a jump ball will be called. It will be the Lady Senators ball. Yeah, but the Lay Lancers definitely getting a bit more intense here on defense. You can see it in that possession, forcing the jump ball, but that's the kind of stuff they'll need as they are losing 12 to five to the Lady Senators. Griffiths gets it in. Johnson puts up a three off the inbound pass. It is no good. Rebound by Crawhorn who kicks it ahead for Funkhauser. Funkhauser on the fast break. Gets all the way to the block, puts it up, and a charge will be called on uh, Funkhauser. And 44 Ainsley Nance comes in for the Lady Senators, and um, we have number 11 uh, Callie Hancock come back in as she comes in for Funkhauser. So now Griffiths gives it off to Johnson. Lady Lancer trying to apply some pressure, trying to get a turnover to get some easy basket. Cross court pass there, barely gets through for the Lady Senators. Griffiths gives it off for Brown. Brown looking inside. He's gonna dribble it up a little bit, gives it off to Griffiths near half court. Johnson with it, back to the other Brown, and now a good cross court pass shot is up and one for the Lady Senators. Heck of a pass there by Mackenzie Brown to her sister, Madison Brown. Getting the and one there. So now Brown will go to the free throw line. One shot, chance to get a double digit lead here for the Lady Senators. Free throw is no good, rebounded by Crawhorn. So now Crawhorn will push it ahead. 
throws it um, all the way down low. Shot is up no good by Strevel. Gets the rebound and will be will be a foul called. So now Crawhorn will take the ball out of bounds for the Lady Lancers underneath the basket. Crawhorn throws it up as Hancock's able to get it. Hancock goes off to Strevel. Strevel with the ball up top, guarded by Johnson. Strevel goes to the right side, gives it off. Hancock puts up the runner. It is no good off the rim. Will be a jump ball on the rebound and will stay with the Lady Lancers. So now Crawhorn will take the ball out of bounds again underneath the basket. Crawhorn throws it in. Hancock with it. Tries to throw it back to Crawhorn in the corner, but Griffiths is able to jump the pass and knock it out of bounds. And with as aggressive as the Lay Centers have been playing here on defense, Lay Lancers have just had no open shots tonight. Now ball on the ground. It will be another jump ball as Nance is able to get on it, and it will be the Lady Senators' ball this time. So now Griffiths with it, gives it off to Johnson. Back to Griffiths. Lady Lancers applying some more pressure. Cross-court pass that's going to be taken away here by the Lady Lancers as now they push it up the sideline. There's a three-point try by Crawhorn. It's no good off the rim. Rebounded by Johnson, who's going to try to push it ahead, but it's fouled. <laughs> Britton called for the foul as 32 Ava Woods comes in for 20 Mackenzie Brown. Now Griffiths with the ball in the backcourt. Griffiths gives it off to Johnson. Johnson starting to be guarded heavily. Cross-court pass works this time as now Griffiths gets it back. Gives it off to Johnson on the left wing. Johnson up for Griffiths on the top of the key. Griffiths dribbling around, goes, gives it off to Brown on the right wing. Brown with a cross-court pass for Johnson now. Get, they get the ball in the high post. Woods with it. Gives it off to Nance. Nance dribbles inside. Kicks it back out. Ball is tipped, but the Lady Senators recover as now Johnson will bring it back out and set up the offense. Brown gives it off to Griffiths now. Swings it across to Johnson. Nance with it in the corner. Now pass into the high post for Griffiths. Kicks it out. Brown thought about the three, but now kicks it back out. Now Griffiths with the ball. Griffiths takes it left, gives it off to Johnson, high post for Woods. Woods puts up the jump shot. It is no good off back rim. Ball is tipped around, and it is controlled by the Lady Lancers as 20 Burton is able to come down with it. It's now Strevel with it, gives it off to Crawhorn. Crawhorn throws it inside for Burton, and a foul will be called on the ground. That was on 44 ends and ends. Now 20, Mackenzie Brown comes in for 44. Nance who just committed that foul. It's now Crawhorn to take it out. Crawhorn throws it up as Hancock with it. Gives it off. Strevel puts up a two-point shot. It is no good. Bounced around as Hancock is able to come down with it. And now Crawhorn with it. Guarded heavily by Griffith. She gets into the post. Puts it up with the right hand. It's no good. Rebounded by Woods. Now the ball is on the floor. And it will be another jump ball. And it will go to the Lady Lancers. Yeah, and the Lady Lancers here have just had trouble getting any types of good shots off. This Lady Senators defense came to play tonight. You can tell that from the very start of it. Now, pass up for grabs as the Lady Lancers come down with it. Strevel with it. Now it's off for Crawhorn. Strevel with it again. Throws it in the short corner. Now ball's thrown inside for Burton. Good cut up by Strevel. Layup is no good. Offensive rebound though by Burton. Ball is tipped and it will be the Lady Senators ball. And even there, where the Lady Lancers got a good shot off, you gotta make the layups. I mean. So now Johnson will get it. Lady Lancers applying pressure. They have 24 Britain up. Uh, she comes in at 5'11", trying to get in between the two passers and tip the pass and get the steal. Now Brown with it in the corner. She throws it in for Woods. It's going to be another turnover. Ball's on the ground. It is able to be controlled by the Lady Lancers. Now they push it ahead. Hancock throws it off for Crawhorn. Mid-range jump shot is no good in air ball. And it will go out of bounds and back to the Lady Senators. 
And now a 30 second timeout will be called. So, Lady Senators up 14 to five here, four minutes to go in the first half. So far, Lady Senators defense has played great, holding the Lady Lancers to only five points. Yeah, and their offense has also been, at times, pretty stellar. I mean, you got the two key threes from the Brown Twins. And, I mean, each of their starters are getting good shots in there, so just need to be a bit more consistent with being aggressive and getting the shots that they want. The scoring first for the Lady Senators, Madison Brown has five points, Mackenzie Brown has three points, and Alandra Johnson, Ava Woods, and Shelby Griffiths all with two points. And for the Edinburgh Lancers, they've only had two players able to score, Kaya Strevel with uh, three points and Bethany Burton with two points. Now the Lady Senators will have the ball as almost pass is taken away. Griffith's with it. She brings the ball up the floor, gives it off to Brown in the corner. Madison Brown kicks it out as now Johnson with it. Johnson cross-court pass, Brown with it. Brown looking inside, gives it off to Griffith's near the high post. Now ball swung across. Mackenzie Brown with the three-pointer. It is no good. Rebounded by Madison Brown. Shot is up no good, but a foul is called, and Madison Brown will go to the line for two shots. Good awareness there by Madison, getting the offensive rebound and driving in for the foul. So Brown the leading scorer so far for the Lady Senators at the line for two shots. First shot is up and no good off the back of the rim. So Brown now with one more shot, chance to make it a 10 point game. So Brown's second shot is up and it is no good again off the back of the rim. Rebounded by the Lady Lancers and now uh, Burton with it. Burton gives it off for Crawhorn. Crawhorn with it on the wing, gives it off. Uh, Hancock tries to drive inside. Crawhorn with a three-pointer, it is no good. Actually, almost good as it bounces off the rim multiple times. Almost fell in there as a foul is now called on the Lady Senators. That would have been a heck of a bounce, but couldn't quite get it there. Now Burton, one of the only two players to score for the Lady Lancers at the free throw line. That shot is no good off the back of the rim. As 44 Nance comes back in for the Lady Senators and for the Lady Lancers, 14 Strevel comes back in. So now Burton back at the free throw line, one shot here. Shot is up and this one is no good in and out. Nance with the rebound. Gives it off for Brown. Brown will now dribble the ball up the floor. Brown picks it up, gives it off to Johnson. Now Griffiths with the ball up near half court. Funkhauser on her. Griffiths looking left side. Lady Lancers playing some uh, very heavy defense here, trying to force some more turnovers. Johnson now with the picks up her dribble at the top of the key, gives it off to Brown. Brown gives it back to Griffiths up near half court. Johnson with it. Johnson throws the bounce pass in for Woods. Woods throws it down low. Nance puts up the layup and gets it to go. Now the Lady Senators with their largest lead of the game, 11 points, just under three minutes to go here in the first half. Lady Senators up 16 to five. Crawhorn with it, gives it off to Funkhauser. Ball is now thrown to the short corner. Funkhauser gets it back. Now dribbling around top, getting the ball back to the center of the floor. Hancock gives it back to Funkhauser. Now Funkhauser will set up the offense. Funkhauser starts to dribble to the right side, gives it off, Hancock puts up the shot, it is good as Hancock gets her first two of the game. So now Griffiths gives it off for Johnson. Lady Senators trying to break this press as now Griffiths gets it across half court, gives it off to Johnson. Johnson goes in the corner for Nance. Nance looking inside at the post for Woods. Now gets double teamed in the corner, gets it out for Griffiths. Johnson now with it, kicks it across for Brown. Brown looking inside, gets the ball back centered and gives it off to Johnson. Now ball in the corner, Nance with it, looking inside. Throws it inside for Woods, it's gonna be taken away as Burton is able to get around Woods and get the steal. So now Crawhorn throws it ahead, it's gonna be intercepted by Griffiths as now she pushes it the other way quickly. Bounce pass off for Brown. Brown dribbles it back out, and the Lady Senators will set up their offense here. 
because now Griffiths gets the ball back out, gives it off to Johnson a minute 30 to go in the first half. Pass is almost taken away there by Shrevo as Woods gets in the high post, kicks it out. Now Griffiths with it up top, back over for Johnson. Johnson on the far side of the floor. Johnson gets it back for Griffiths. Griffiths is going to throw it inside for Woods. Woods turns, kicks it back out. Cross court pass now for um, Brown. This ball is going to be taken away again as Lady Sanders with another turnover. Now Funkhauser pushing it ahead and now gives it off to Crawhorn. Crawhorn goes off to Hancock. Hancock kicks it out. And there's a three point try. It is good as Gracie Crawhorn gets a three to go. She nearly got blocked there on that play by Madison Brown, but got off just in time, I guess. Now a 30-second timeout called by the Lady Lancers. Lady Senators are up 16 to 10. We're under one minute to go here in the first half. Will be the Lady Senators ball coming out of this timeout. So now we've seen, just in the past couple minutes, um, Edinburgh double their score as Crawhorn hit a three and Hancock got her first two of the game. Yeah, and that's definitely something for the Lady Senators to look out for. Crawhorn starts getting heated up. She has herself quite night last time and Lady Senators I don't think want to go through that again. So we'll see what the Lady Senators do here offensively with under a minute to go so that might see them go for the last shot here. Now the Lady Lancers will um, put on a little bit of pressure here. They have written one of their tallest players up to try to get in the passing line and get a steal. Johnson now dribbles it up, gives it off to Griffiths. Griffiths crosses half court, gives it off for uh, Eva O'Toole, who just checked into the game. O'Toole with a cross court pass. Now uh, Madison Brown for three. It is no good. Ball is going to be knocked out of bounds by Woods going for the rebound. It's now 40 seconds to go in the half. And now we have uh, Strevel with the ball. Lady Senators putting on some pressure. Crawhorn gives it off. Now Crawhorn now gets it back. Throws it. Um, tries to throw it over for Strevel and just throws it right out of bounds. As Strevel tried to go up the court and get down the floor, but a turnover there for the Lady Lancers. Little substitution here. Evo Tool coming out for Mackenzie Brown. So now Johnson gives it off to Griffiths. Griffiths kicks it ahead. Brown with it. This is Madison Brown as she is going to dribble to the right side, gets into the line, kicks it out for Woods. 20 seconds to go now in the half. Now we might see the Lady Senators go for the last shot. Now 15 seconds. Griffiths gives it off. Brown throws it inside for Woods. Woods turns, puts it up, and gets it to go. Good move there by uh, Ava Woods, the freshman. So now we have Lady Lancers trying to push it ahead. Hancock with it with two seconds. With one, puts up the runner. It is no good off the rim. And that will conclude the first half where the Lady Senators are up 18 to 10. Closely contested game. It'll be interesting to see which team comes out of the half looking strong. And now we'll go to a couple of commercial breaks. You are listening to West Washington Center Live from home of the Lady Senators. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. 227-9421 or just visit our website. 
Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller. I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig, about all things relative to the IHSAA, it's busy. You're busy. It's a busy time, Commissioner. We've had the pairing show. Thought that went great for the girls' tournament. Sectionals will begin next week. Wrestling sectionals begin this weekend. Uh, swimming. Uh, we, we are we are getting into the winter sports championship mode very very quickly. It seems we are. You know, and we kind of talked about it a few times, Bob, as we walked through this uh, new year. But man, it's here now. It's uh, right around the corner. And as you said, our wrestlers they've made weight. They're prepared. They're going to step on the mat Saturday for a chance to continue to advance to the tournament. And I don't know if folks have had a chance to watch our wrestling tournament, but, but it. Uh, continues to get better and and one thing that's just amazing is the quality of our wrestlers across the state of indiana just continues to improve and we've got kids uh that are out there right now student athletes are making big noise on a national level that have come through our tournament the last couple of years but it's here girls basketball tips next week the girls swimming tournament begins so we're here we're going and we're going to hand out some medals here real soon and some trophies and we're ready to do that i think everyone understands i'm a basketball guy Uh, However, I acknowledge the fact that the wrestling championship is the most unique situation I've ever seen. It's one of the most dramatic competitions you will ever find at any sport anywhere in the country. It is. There's drama throughout the day. You know, that Friday night round, you've got to go in and, and you got one shot on the mat to win and if you win you advance to Saturday if you don't win your season's over that night so there's a lot of emotion around that Friday night round but then when we turn the lights down and the spotlight's on for that championship match <laughs> just the color and you know the face off and those kids I mean it's just an incredible uh, event and I would certainly encourage people to get out to Gamebridge Fieldhouse uh, home of our sponsor the Pacers and the Fever and watch a little wrestling here as this tournament progresses. He's Paul Knight. He's the commissioner of the IHSAA. Appreciate the hospitality on Sunday. Greg Raystraw and I were fortunate to be able to bring everyone the pairing show. And I will tell you, one of the themes throughout that night, and I think it will be a similar theme when we do the boys pairing show in February, is how wide open the, the tournament field will be for girls and boys. And uh, I think it, it may be as wide open as any year 
in recent memory. So many teams have legitimate opportunities to make their way to play for a championship. That's exactly right, Coach. And you and Greg Raystraw and myself, we had that very conversation Friday night. And, you know, we've between the three of us, we've watched a lot of basketball across the state. Mm-hmm. I think we all, all agreed that, uh, you know, just from class to class and boys to girls, uh, I don't know that I ever recall a tournament this wide open. You know, every year you go in and I look at the brackets and I say, okay, this team should make it in this class, this team, or these two teams have a chance. And a lot of times, you know, that's that's the way it comes out. But I wouldn't even begin to know how to pick it this year and uh, certainly not playing favorites. I just think it's that wide open, which means from my perspective, we're going to have a great tournament. I don't think there's any question, to be honest. And I think you know, if you just look at the, at the polls and polls being what they are, there's been a lot of movement in, in a lot of the classes throughout the year. You've had different number ones in certain classes. You've had uh, some movement in the top ten. I think it's going to be great. And um, the other thing we always want to stress, Commissioner, is um, with COVID-19 as it is, this is a community effort for everyone so that these young men and women can participate in their chosen sports and be able to experience what championships are all about. That's exactly right. And, you know, our message to the student athletes is they need to close their circle in a little bit, stay within their bubble, stay within their teammates, their school, uh, their school world, and then also their family and expand that out into other public settings right now, because we want all of our kids safe. We want all of our families safe to be able to, to put that uniform on and walk through the state tournament like every other kid has got to do. Uh, since 1903 here at the association. So so let's close that bubble down. Let's make sure we're doing everything we can to be safe as we get to the tournament. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. And we're back, coming into the second half of this game. Lay Senators leading here, 18 to 10 over the Edinburgh Lady Lancers. And what'd you see in that first half that really just made you think, Titan? Um, some both teams have been a little careless with the basketball, having a lot of turnovers. Um, but both teams' defense has also been pretty well forcing those turnovers. So a big defensive battle to start this game with the Lady Senators up 18 to 10. Um, we'll take a look here at the um, bracket for this um, sectional. Um, the winner of this game tonight will play Friday night against Shaw Memorial. It will be the second game at 745. It, it will be after the Trinity Lutheran Crothersville game, which will start at 6 o'clock. And here early on, we see a turnover by the Lady Senators, and Treville gets the uh, two points. And now almost another turnover, and this time a foul will be called on Strevel trying to get the ball. These Lancers came out playing aggressive on defense. Lay Senators may not want to be so lax with their passes. Strevel got her third foul right there early on in this um, second half. She will stay in the game, though. Lady Lancers with a 2-1-2 press. Lay Senators need to go here. They only got 10 seconds. Johnson with it, he's gonna turn, and now it's gonna be tipped away, ball on the ground, and a foul is gonna be called on the Lady Senators. 
and not a good start here for the Lady Senators, letting the Lady Lancers right back into the game. No, I don't think they were ready for how aggressive these Lancers were going to come out playing. I mean, see Funkhouse are flying all over the court. Definitely want to be more careful with the ball. So now Strevel with it. Strevel gives it off for Funkhauser. Funkhauser for um, inside and Burton with the layup. It is good. So now just a four point lead for the Lady Senators. Brown with it, gives it off to Griffiths. Griffiths now throws it ahead for Johnson and now the Lady Senators finally get the ball across half court as Griffiths will have the ball up on the logo, gives it off to Johnson. Johnson standing out there, Strevel playing far off. Now Brown with it. Brown looking inside, gives it off to Griffiths, kicks it across to Johnson. Now Madison Brown with it on the uh, left side of the floor. Now bounce pass inside, Woods with it, is gonna throw right away, trying to give it off to McKenzie Brown in the short corner. And now Funkhauser with it on the wing. Funkhauser dribbles right side, gives it off for Hancock. Hancock goes left, gives it back to Funkhauser outside. So now uh, Crawhorn will set a screen. Funkhauser gets the ball in the middle of the floor. Funkhauser gives it off to Crawhorn, back to Funkhauser, back to Crawhorn, and now she dribbles inside, puts up a shot, no good, but a foul is called before the shot. So it will be the Lady Lancers ball out underneath the basket. And now 24, Britton will check into the game as she comes in for 14, Strevel, who does have the three fouls. So now Crawhorn taking it out, looking for someone to go, throws it up. Ball is tipped and now Griffiths on the fast break is able to control it, puts up the layup and gets it to go. That's a good play there by Griffiths, getting in the passing lane and running it back for two. That is something the Lady Senators definitely needed to get this half started off. So now Funkhauser with the ball up top, gives it off. Hancock gives it off to Crawhorn. Crawhorn throws it up for Funkhauser who dribbles right side, gets all the way to the block, puts up the shot, no good, rebounded by Woods. Woods takes a dribble, gives it off to Griffiths. Now Griffiths will push the ball up ahead. Griffiths now guarded heavily by Funkhauser, gives it off to Johnson up near half court. Now bounce pass inside, Woods with it, takes a dribble, kicks it out. Brown puts up the mid-range jump shot. It is good as Mackenzie Brown knocks down the shot. She's now got five points. So now Funkhauser gives it off. Burton with it, now back to Funkhauser, gives it off Hancock. And now Hancock's got it again on the left side of the floor. Hancock goes off for Funkhauser. Funkhauser dribbles right side, fakes the handoff, picks it up, gives it off to Crawhorn. Crawhorn throws it across court, it is tipped, and it is kept in bounds by the Lady Lancers. Burton able to keep it in. Funkhauser now with it, guarded by Griffiths, takes a few dribbles left side. Crawhorn now puts up a three pointer. He hit one earlier. This one's an air ball and out of bounds. Now Lady Senators ball. Lady Lance is in their 2-1-2 press. Now substitution is 14. Strevel will check into the game for 33. Crawhorn. So now Brown to take the ball out of bounds. Gives it off to Johnson. Johnson goes off to Brown. Now Brown will bring the ball up to four. Kicks it ahead to McKenzie Brown. And now Griffiths with it. Griffith's not going to dribble it around, kicks it ahead. Brown with a good pass inside. Woods puts up the shot. It is good. Great pass there by Madison to get the assist, and Ava Woods finishing it off there in the paint. So now Lady Center's back up with a double-digit lead, and Griffith's almost got another steal right there. And now Strevel with it. is going to dribble it off of her leg, but keeps it in bounds. And now Funkhauser gives it off for Hancock. Dribbles inside, throws up the shot, no good, but a foul is called. Foul is on 12, Griffiths. That's Griffiths' third foul. So now we have Hancock at the free throw line. First shot is good. And now two Evo two will come into the game for Griffiths. So now Hancock returns to the free throw line. One shot here. Hancock shot is up and good. 
She's now got four points on the game. That'll cut down to an eight point game here with the Lay Senators still leading 24-16. Now Johnson dribbles off the sideline, throws it away as Strevel now with it. She pushes the ball ahead quickly, stops, puts up the shot. It is no good, hits up off the uh, top of the goal. Now 33, Crawhorn comes back into the game, coming in for 20, Burton. It's now Lady Senators' ball. Johnson gets it. Johnson gives it off to Brown. Brown dribbles it to the right side, crosses over twice, now brings it back up the right side again. Now she's looking to get it off, gets it off for Johnson. Johnson kicks it across for O'Toole. O'Toole goes in the corner. Mackenzie Brown throws it over for Madison. Brown layup is up and good. So now Crawhorn will take the ball across the floor as Lady Center's back up to a 10 point lead. Funkhauser now puts up a three pointer. It's no good. Long rebound, and it will be out of bounds off of the Lady Lancers, Lady Senators' ball. So now Brown will take it out, gives it off to Johnson. Johnson goes back to Brown. Now Brown dribbling the ball up the floor. Now crosses half court, crosses over, gives it off to Johnson now. So now Johnson will set up the offense, gives it off to O'Toole, looking inside for Woods. Now good backdoor cut, Woods with it, gives it off. Brown with the layup is no good, and she is fouled, so she'll go to the line for two shots. Yeah, and this Lady Lancers defense came out firing, but you can kind of tell some of their players are getting a bit gassed here after putting up some high intensity defensive efforts. I do believe that the Lady Lancers have only played six players this game with their five starters and then they've had Chloe Britton coming off the bench as uh, Mackenzie Brown hits her first free throw. It's now Brown's second shot is up. This one is also good. She's got seven points. Now Crawhorn will bring it up. She's going to give it off for Hancock. Now Hancock dribbles inside, puts up the runner. It is no good off the rim, rebounded by Mackenzie Brown. Now surrounded instantly, is able to get out of it. Triple team, but that pass is thrown away. And now a charge will be called, I do believe. They called on 11 Hancock. That's just her first foul. Now Brown to take it out, gets it in for Johnson. Johnson instantly goes to Brown who splits two defenders. Brown pushing the ball ahead. Now gives it off for Johnson, gives it back. So now Brown slowing uh, the offense down, O'Toole with it. Dribbles left side, throws it inside, and there's gonna be another turnover by the Lady Senators and a foul will be called. That was on O'Toole right there. Now 44, Ainsley Nance comes into the game. She comes in for 20, Mackenzie Brown. So now Lady Center's put on a little bit of pressure there as Hancock will bring the ball to four. Lady Center's largest lead of the game at 12 points right now. Hancock dribbles the ball left side, gives it back for Crawhorn, gives it off to Funkhauser. Back for Crawhorn, swings it across for Hancock. One dribble puts up shots blocked by uh, Madison Brown, but offensive rebound ball is tipped away. And Evo Two gets the rebound, throws it over for Johnson. That pass is almost taken away. But now Johnson brings it up, gives it off to O'Toole. Now O'Toole looking for somewhere to go, tries to throw over the top, gets it off to Woods. Now Brown with it, cross court pass for Johnson. Johnson puts up a three point try, no good. Rebounded by Hancock, who will push it the other way, but the ball is going to be tipped by O'Toole. Now they throw it inside, Woods with it, gets the shot to go. Woods now with eight points on the game, and the Lady Senators up to a 14 point lead. So Funkhauser with the ball on the logo, gives it off for Crawhorn on the right wing. Crawhorn's gonna get a screen from Burton. Crawhorn looking inside, but kicks it back out. Funkhauser puts up a three point try, it is no good. Rebounded by Woods. Woods with it, takes a few dribbles, kicks it ahead for O'Toole on the fast break, but O'Toole will slow it down and a full timeout will be called by the Lady Senators. 
So we'll go to a com commercial break. You're listening to West Washington Center live stream for Lady Senator Basketball. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. When you hit that water, you're going to want to look for weeds, sunken structures, down trees, stuff like that. And let that breeze tell you where you want to go. Windy days like this, those bait fish will come swimming closer to shore. They'll bring the big boys with them, those bass and those pike. And they like cooler temperatures, so you ain't likely to have much luck. You're good at giving fishing advice. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. We're back. Lady Senators leading by 14, 30 to 16 over the Lady Lancers with about a minute and a half left to go in this third quarter. Titan, got any observations so far as we're starting through the second half? Um, so far, the Lady Senators have picked it up offensively. They scored 12 points in uh, the first uh, six and a half minutes of this quarter. It looked like Edinburgh may have had a uh, chance to get the lead early on in this half, but Lady Senators were able to control their run, and now um, a foul is called on 14 Strevel. That is Strevel's uh, fourth foul, I do believe. Because now 11 Hancock comes in for. And that'll be interesting to see for the Lay Lancers is they like to get real aggressive with both Funkhauser and Strevel on the opposing team's guards. So now Griffiths with the ball in the backcourt. Griffiths gives it off for Brown. Madison Brown with it, looking for somewhere to go. Gets double teamed. Is now going to kick it across for Johnson. Johnson on the floor gets it, gives it off to McKenzie Brown. Brown in the post, double teamed, tries to go somewhere with it. Bounce pass inside, ball's on the floor. It's going to be taken away by the Lady Lancers, and it's going to be pushed ahead now by Funkhauser. And she would now dribble it out with no numbers. Crawhorn now with it, a minute to go in the quarter. Now inside, shot is no good. Offensive rebound, and Burton gets the easy two. Now 45 seconds to go in the quarter. Lady Senators up by 12. Griffiths now dribbling it around. Gets all the way into the paint. Kicks it out. Three-point try by Brown is no good. It almost fell in off the backboard. And now Funkhauser will push it the other way quickly. Funkhauser pushes it ahead for Hancock. Hancock tries to go baseline. Is cut off by Brown. Kicks it out. Funkhauser for three. It's no good off the rim. Rebounded by Madison Brown. He's now double teamed. And a jump ball will be called. It will be the Lady Lancers ball. Yeah, and that's just a tough situation there for Madison. Can't quite go anywhere with the ball in that corner. So now Crawhorn will take it out. 22 seconds to go in the quarter. Crawhorn throws it up for Funkhauser. Funkhauser comes down with it. Funkhauser now splits two defenders, gets in, but is going to be stripped away. Brown now kicks it ahead for Johnson. Johnson bounce pass off for Griffiths, who puts up the shot. It's fouled, and will go to the line for two shots. The Lady Senators here with a chance to extend their lead before the start of the fourth quarter up by 12 now with two free throws to come. So Griffiths at the free throw line. First shot is up and good. She's now got five points. Now Griffiths with one more shot, chance to make it a 14 point game to tie the largest lead they've had this game. It is no good. Battle for the rebound, and Lady Sims were able to get it. Steal another possession here. Now Johnson with it with just five seconds to go. Griffiths with it now. Johnson with it. Johnson dribbles it inside, gets all the way in the paint, puts up the shot. It is no good, and that will end the third quarter where the Lady Senators are up 31-18 to over the Edinburgh Lady Lancers. This is West Washington Senator live stream, and we will head to a quick commercial break. Hi, I'm Matt Wolford, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, 
you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. Never miss a big game by downloading the IHSAA TV app for free on any device. For your iPhone or Apple TV, check the App Store. On your Android or Android TV device, load up the Google Play Store. Have a Roku or Amazon Fire Stick? We have the app for you. Check us out on Facebook Live, Twitter, or YouTube Live by searching for IHSAA TV. Or as always, click to IHSAATV.org for quick and easy access to your favorite IHSAA live and archived events. And we're back, heading into the final quarter of this sectional matchup. Lady Senators lead here 31 to 18 over the Lady Lancers from Edinburgh. And Titan, what do you think the Lady Senators need to do to close out this game here tonight? Well, they definitely can't let up um, Lady Lancers down by 13 points, but they are not out of this game. And Lady Senators just have to take care of the ball and make good decisions as uh, Woods gets the ball, and now she kicks it out. Mid-range jump shot is good as Mackenzie Brown knocks down the shot. Well, always a good decision is to let Mackenzie Brown shoot, as she has been key for them all season. So now Strieval with four fouls. She drives inside and gets the shot to go. Strieval now with seven points as a full timeout will be called by the Lady Lancers. So we will head to a no, we will not have to do another commercial break. We'll stay right here as um, the Lady Senators now up by 13 points. Yep. We were looking at it, but got the no-go from Mr. Akers. So you get to listen to us for a bit longer. Can't Actual wait. reason here. So we have Mr. Akers over here waiting online for 8 o'clock to come just to buy one of these shirts. What is it for, Mr. Akers? Oh. Oh, he's not listening to us. He's focused okay. in over there. <laughs> he is not going to give an answer. Okay. But just so you know, they're pretty cool shirts. Looking at them right here. I get why he's looking to buy one. They're pretty stylish. So, looking back here. Lay Senators coming out of this timeout leading 33-20. to 20. And they'll be looking to close this one out and advance further ahead. Might see um, the Lady Lancers put on a bunch of pressure right here as they are trailing. They need to get back in this game. So now Brown with it as she gets it out to Johnson. Johnson pushes ahead, throws it up for Woods. Woods goes up with it and is fouled. And Woods will go to the line for two shots. This is an aggressive block attempt there by Crawhorn, but got a bit too much on that hack. So now Woods at the free throw line. Woods, the shot is up and good. Woods with nine points, a chance to become the first lady senator to reach double digits on this free throw. And that shot is good. It's so now Crawhorn with the ball for the Lady Lancer. She gives it off to Hancock and now gets it back. Now she tries to attack, stops, kicks it across. Funkhauser with it. Now in the corner, Strieville drives inside, kicks it back out. Now Funkhauser with it again. She dri dribbles right side, gets to the block, throws up the shot, and gets it to go. Good move right there by Funkhauser, getting her her first two of the game. Now good pass there by Mackenzie Brown, getting it up to Johnson. Now pass is kind of thrown away, but Lady Sinner is able to get it back. And now a timeout will be called by the Lady Senators. Will be a 30-second timeout. Yeah, so... That was a smart move there by Coach Myers, seeing his team was struggling a bit to get beyond the half court line there. So Lady Center is up by 13 still. We have seven minutes to go in the ball game and we're gonna need to see the Lady Lancers do a little bit more here to get back into this game. Yeah, and I think it really starts with putting on that defensive intensity. I mean, that's what for most of the night has kept this game as close as it is, is they just get into passing lanes. So now Lady Senators ball taken out on the sideline. So now Brown will give it in for Griffiths. Lady Lancers back off a little bit, but you might see them trap here early. And now Brown throws it inside for Woods, puts up the layup and gets it to go. Great pass there by Madison Brown, getting the assist for Ava Woods. 
So now Funkhauser with it, gives it off for Hancock. That pass is almost taken away there. Crowhorn gets around Brown, puts up the shot, no good. Rebounded by Mackenzie Brown. Now she will dribble it up the floor. Looks like we'll have an injury here for the Lay Lancers. It will be 14 Strevel as she's done very well this game with, she's the leading scorer with seven points. Now Strevel able to walk off the court on her own. Yeah, and you're glad to see that, so. Now it will be the Lady Senators ball taken out on the sideline, up by 15. So now Brown is going to get it in for Griffiths. Griffiths in the backcourt, guard by Britton. Now Johnson with it, starts to get double teamed, almost throws it away, and Funkhauser picks up the foul, trying to go for the steal. now will be a one and one as that was the seventh team foul by the Lady Lancers. Now Griffiths at the line for a one and one. Now Griffith's shot is no good, missing the front end of the one and one. Is now Burton brings it up the floor, kicks it ahead for Hancock, dribbles inside, puts up the runner. It's no good, rebounded by Mackenzie Brown and gives it off to Griffiths. As Griffiths will now push it ahead quickly, gets right past Britton, loses the ball, but is able to get it back. And Johnson with it, kicks it across for Brown. Ball's on the floor and a good play there. What looked to be a good play by Funkhauser. She is called for the foul. Just a bit too aggressive there on defense, heading in like a missile for that ball. And that's Funkhauser's fourth, and also uh, Strevel, who left the game moments ago um, with an injury, also has four fouls. So now Brown at the free throw line, one and one. First shot is no good again, so the Lady Senators missed the front end of two one and ones as Strevel is able to get up, and she will be checking in the game at the next dead ball. Funkhauser now with it, throws it inside. Hancock with it on the post, kicks it out. Crawl. Crawhorn with it, throws it inside for Burton. Burton kicks it out. Crawhorn puts up a three-pointer. It is good as Crawhorn hits her second three. Yeah, and that's the kind of shot you can't give up if you're the lay senators here. Now Funkhauser gets in the passing lane, tips it, but Griffiths is able to control it. Now Brown with it, gives it off to Johnson up at the um, half-court line. Now gets it in the corner. Mackenzie Brown with it, back to Johnson. Now kicks it across. Griffiths throws it inside for Woods, kicks it out. Johnson puts up a three-pointer. It is no good off the rim. Crawhorn now tries to get the rebound, and a jump ball will be called. We'll go to the Lady Lancers, but a good play right there by the Lady Senators getting in there to try to get the offensive rebound. Yeah, and that was both twins there on that jump ball contestion. Contestion? Don't think that's a word, but hey, I'll, I'll use it anyways. So now Funkhauser will bring the ball up the floor, gives it off to Strevel who just came into the game for Burton. So now Funkhauser with it up top, gonna dribble to the right side, gives it in the corner. Now Crawhorn will dribble it out of the corner, gives it off to Funkhauser. Back to Crawhorn, cross court pass, thought about the shot, now kicks it out. Funkhauser now tries to dribble inside and is gonna be fouled by 22 Madison Brown. So now Crawhorn will take the ball out underneath the basket. We have five minutes to go in the game. Lady Senators up by 12. Now Funkhauser with it, and that pass is going to be taken away, but will be out of bounds. Good hustle right there by 20 McKenzie Brown trying to save it. Even better, though, was the awareness to dodge the ref there. Nearly a nasty-looking play. So now Crawhorn to take it out. Gets it in for Hancock. Hancock goes off for Strevel. Strevel dribbles left side, gets all the way to the block, puts up the runner, and gets it to go. Strevel now with nine points, has Mackenzie Brown with it. Goes in the middle for Griffiths. Griffiths now stops and tries to save it from going out of bounds. 
will be out of bounds and it will be the Lady Lancers ball is now the Lady Lancers have got it to a 10 point game with the ball it's now Crawhorn throws it in for Hancock gets it back Crawhorn dribbles to the corner tries to get around Brown and a foul will be called on Madison Brown right there Now Crawhorn taking the ball out underneath, throws it in um, for Hancock. Hancock dribbles it to the middle, gives it off for Strevel. Strevel dribbles it left side, gives it off to Funkhauser. Now in the corner, Crawhorn for three. It's no good, long, and a foul will be called on 11 Hancock. So now Griffiths will go back to the free throw line for another one and one. So the Lady Senators, their lead is being brought down slowly but surely. So um, these free throws right here are big to get their lead back up. Griffiths cannot get the first shot of the one and one to go against. So that's three trips in a row as McKenzie Brown jumps the passing line. Bounce pass to Madison Brown for the layup and gets it to go. That was an amazing play by McKenzie Brown. First getting one heck of a steal and then following it up with an even better pass. So now Funkhauser with it, gets the ball up top, gonna dribble around. Now um, Hancock with it, tries to spin back and get into the middle of the floor. Crawhorn with it in the corner. Crawhorn cross court pass gonna be tipped away by Shelby Griffiths as Griffiths now pushes it ahead. Goes up with the layup, it is no good. Offensive rebound, Brown puts it up and gets it to go. And now a timeout will be called it will be a full timeout by the Lady Lancers as the Lady Senators get their lead back up to 14. This is West Washington Senator live stream. You're listening, and um, we'll go to a quick commercial break. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. And we're back fourth quarter here about three minutes and 44 seconds to go lay senators leading here 41 to 27 over the edinburgh lancers in this sectional matchup so titan any thoughts observations to offer our listeners well the lady lancers have definitely gone on some runs here but the lady senators have done a pretty good job at answering those runs and getting some points of their own as now funkhauser with the ball and Shreveville with it looking inside. Kicks it back out. Funkhauser kicks it across. So now Shreveville with the ball on the left wing. Throws it inside for Crawhorn. Passes tip. And now a foul will be called. So now Crawhorn will go to the free throw line for a one and one as, as Mackenzie Brown picks up her third foul. So Crawhorn at the line, first shot is good. She's now got seven points on the game. So Crawhorn with one more shot, under three and a half minutes to go in the game. Free throw is good. So now Madison Brown to take the ball out, gives it off to McKenzie Brown. And now um, kicks it ahead as now McKenzie Brown with it again. Brown gives it off for Griffiths. Griffiths dribbles it inside, gets all the way to the basket, puts up the shot, no good, good defense there by Crawhorn, as now the Lady Lancers push it ahead, Hancock with it, Hancock dribbles it up, gives it off to Crawhorn, Crawhorn now tries to get inside, gives it off to Hancock, who drives baseline, spins back middle, puts up the shot, no good, offensive rebound, Hancock throws it up again, and this time gets it to go. Hancock now with six points, Johnson now throws it in for Brown, Brown double teamed, and a foul will be called, so 22, Madison Brown will go to the free throw line for two shots now as 
uh, the Lady Senators have entered the double bonus. So with under three minutes to go now, the Lady Lancers are going to need some things to go their way now as trailing by double digits is going to be tough to overcome, but they're definitely not out of this game yet. Cool, and it'll start with just playing a bit better defense here and not giving up so many fouls and good looks at the bucket. I mean, it's plain and simple. You just got to stop the Lady Senator offense, but Lady Senator offense is good. It takes a lot to stop them. So Madison Brown knocks down both free throws. She's got 13 points on the game. So now Lady Lancers roll the ball up the floor to try to save some time. But now it gets out of control as Madison Brown or Mackenzie Brown takes it away. Gets all the way to the basket and foul will be called on the floor as Brown will go to the free throw line for two shots. And now Strievel fouls out of the game as 20 Burton comes in for her. Now Brown at the free throw line. First shot is up and no good. Lady Lancers five on the floor. The only um, ones who have actually played in this game besides Shreve who just fouled out. So if anybody else fouls out, then you're going to have to see somebody who hasn't came in the game yet as uh, Mackenzie Brown gets her 10th point of the game on that free throw. So now Funkhauser lets the ball roll across half court. She'll now dribble the ball to the right side. Hands it off for Crawhorn. Crawhorn drives baseline, puts up the runner. It is no good. Offensive rebound. Shot is up. No good. Another offensive rebound. That shot is also no good, but the Lady Center is able to come down with it as Mackenzie Brown gets the rebound. As now Griffiths will now push it ahead quickly. Kicks it ahead for Johnson. Johnson slows it down now and will dribble the ball back to the middle of the court. Now Brown with it in the corner. Brown looking inside. He's going to dribble it back out top. Now cross-court pass for Griffiths. Griffiths rips and now kicks it back out. As now Johnson's got the ball up on the logo. Two minutes to go in the game. Lady Center is up by 13. And that pass is going to be taken away. Funkhauser with the ball. Now Funkhauser pushes it ahead. Bounce pass up for Hancock. He puts up the mid-range jumper. It's no good. Rebounded by Nance for the Lady Senators. Nance kicks it ahead for Brown. And now Brown will slow it down. We are under two minutes to go now. Now Brown dribbling it around, looking somewhere to go, kicks it ahead. Mackenzie Brown with it. She goes up and is going to be blocked by 33, uh, Crawhorn. And that was a scary denial right there by Crawhorn. She went flying in for that block. It's now 32. Ava Woods comes in for 20. Mackenzie Brown. Now Griffiths to take the ball out of bounds underneath the basket. Griffiths throws it up top for Johnson. Johnson comes down with it. Minute, one and a half minutes to go now in the game. Griffiths with the ball up top. Now gives it off to Johnson. Now ball is all the way onto the block as Woods tries to go up with the shot. It's going to be blocked away. Offensive rebound for Griffiths as she kicks it out. Johnson now with the ball up top. Now Johnson slowing it down here. Lady Sanders might not even be looking for a shot here as Funkhauser gets on the ground and will be out of bounds and will be the Lady Lancers ball. So Lady Lancer still fighting here, down by 13 with just over a minute to go. Hancock with the ball. Hancock now gives it off. Funkhauser with it. Funkhauser dribbles it to the middle of the floor. Looking for somewhere to go. Lady Lancer's running out of time here as Hancock puts up the shot on the baseline. It is no good. Offensive rebound, though, as Britton puts it up. It is no good. Another offensive rebound, and Crawhorn gets the two points to go as she picks up 10 points on the game. 45 seconds to go now in the game. Griffiths with it. They try to trap her in the corner, but able to get out of it. And now 22, Madison Brown is fouled and will go to the free throw line for two shots. And as we get a little break here, I'd like to take a second to point out number 13, Miss Alyssa Funkhauser, with the incredibly rocking kicks tonight. Super stylish. No, it doesn't matter much in the meaning of this game, but... I just really like those shoes. I mean, I'm really impressed here. 
So now, um, Lady Lancers clear out the bench, down by 11 points, 40 seconds to go. Now Lady Senators also put in the majority of their subs. So now Madison Brown still at the free throw line. She did miss the first one. That shot is good. And now um, two more substitutions as uh, Madison Brown and Ainsley Nance come out. So now the Lady Center's up by 12 points, 40 seconds to go. Looks like the Lady Centers will be moving on to the next round of the sectional as Crawhorn puts up the shot. It is no good. Battle for the rebound. O'Toole gets it, kicks it ahead for Young. Good hustle right there by Abby Young getting on the floor and getting the ball. Now O'Toole gives it back to Young. And that ball is going to be out of bounds and it will be the Lady Lancers' ball. Now it's another substitution for the Lady Lancers as Crawhorn comes out of the game. It's now Britain with it as um, Lady Lancers might be looking for one more shot here to end off their season. Ten seconds to go now is Emma Schmidt with the steal and she will go and get this light to go. And that will be the ball game where the Lady Senators come out on top, 47 to 33 over the Edinburgh Lady Lancers. And that was a great performance you saw here tonight by these Lady Senators, putting up great offensive numbers and also putting on the defensive show. Love to see it. So we'll now look at some of the scoring here for the Edinburgh Lady Lancers as Callie Hancock had six points. Kaya Strievel had nine points, Alyssa Funkhauser had two points, Bethany Burton had six points, and Grayson Crawhorn had ten points. For the Lady Senators, Shelby Griffiths had five points, Ava Woods had 12 points, Madison Brown had a team high 14 points, Emma Schmidt had two points at the end, Elandra Johnson with two points, Mackenzie Brown with ten points, and Angel Nance with two points. And that will be the ball game. Lady Center is coming out on top, and they will face Shaw Memorial in the second game on Friday night. Um, Tr Trinity Lutheran and Crothersville will play at 6 o'clock here at Ron Smith Court. And we'd like to thank you for joining us here tonight. I've been Gabriel Porter. And I'm Titan Williams. Have a great night, folks.